Hey, I'm Finnegan, and this is the Hot Rod Garage. We're gonna bring my wife, Sel Camino, in here, and we're gonna swap out the 40-year-old Turbo 350 transmission for a late model Gearstar 4L60E electronic overdrive transmission. We're also gonna swap out a Bashton set of headers, and when we're done, we're gonna cause some mayhem and do some burnouts. All right, this is our 1969 Chevy El Camino, which has a new engine, but the original transmission, which is leaking, and I don't even know how it's still shifting because I literally threw it in park in 10 miles an hour once trying to stop it. So. <laughs> We've tried hard to blow it up, but failed. But it doesn't matter, because we need overdrive. We're gonna throw in a Gearstar 4L60E, which is a four-speed electronic overdrive, really common and popular swap. While we're at it, we're gonna put in some Hedman mid-length headers that don't drag the ground like the current exhaust system. And we're gonna control it all with a brand new MSD Atomic Trans Controller, which you can use from inside your car. Easy enough to install that even we can do this. Well, let's find out. It might not be. I just cursed us. Okay. <laughs> okay. While Finnegan's pulling the headers out of the car, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our new transmission. This thing is from Gearstar. Every time we have put a new automatic transmission in a roadkill vehicle, it's been a Gearstar unit. We got them in the Super B, the Ranchero, the Crusher Camaro. It's good stuff. Think of them sort of like a professional engine building shop, except for they do transmissions. They have one guy who follows the transmission all the way through the assembly process, and then they dyno it. They put like 100 miles on it on the dyno to make sure that the trans and the converter are working before they ship it. This one is a 4L60E. It's really just like a 700R4, except it doesn't use a throttle valve cable, which is a pain in the neck. Instead, it uses an electronic control with a computer that I'll show you later. The 4L60Es that go on a traditional small block Chevy have a one-piece bell housing like this. The later ones are two-piece, and those are for the LS engines. And when these are shipped from Gearstar, they come complete with a Yank converter. This one is a billet 10-inch, because this is the unit that will handle 650 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. This thing is like 3,900 bucks. They make models of the 4L60E all the way down to 2,400 and that one will handle 450 horsepower, 425 pound-feet. When they send them out, they come not only with the converter completely installed because it's been on the dyno, but they'll also send you exactly the right amount of fluid to put in the thing. It'll have all the connectors that you need. If you ask for it, you'll even get a dipstick torque converter bolts. It's like a whole tranny in a crate ready to slam into your garbage. So here's a couple more interesting things about this transmission. Gearstar built it with a custom converter from Yank Converters. Dave Meyer actually spec'd himself. Um, should stall at 2600 RPM. It's perfect for this car that'll spend most of its life on the highway and occasionally see the autocross and drag strip. Dave told you before that you can tell this is an early model case because it doesn't have a removable bell housing. You can also tell that it's an early model 4L60E because it's got a four bolt output flange. The late model ones have six bolt output flanges and it's been modified to drive a mechanical speedo. Also has a VSS sensor to drive an electronic one if you want to. And what this is gonna give us is overdrive. I think it's a 0.7 to one fourth gear and it has a lockup converter that we'll be able to control exactly when we want it to lock with the little hand controlled chingas. That'll and it should cool. actually feel like it has 400 horsepower now because every gear is lower in this thing. That's yeah. true. And then when we put the 373 in the back, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Install it. All right. So early model 4L60s bolt right up to the back of small block Chevys because they're essentially 700R4 transmissions with electronic solenoids and actuators working the valve body. We had to shorten our drive shaft and then we actually reused the stock cross member. We just slotted the bolt holes in it, moved it back and used a couple of holes that were already in the chassis there. The last thing we had to do to really fit this thing in there well is we beat the hell out of the transmission tunnel right where the vehicle speed sensor pokes out the side, giving us just enough clearance where the wires don't rub. 
The car came with a column shifter designed for a three-speed transmission, and so you gotta do something to make the four-speed work. There's a couple of options. You can get like an aftermarket floor shifter with a cable that's designed for the four-speed. Um, you can also get a little cable doohickey that goes on the end of the column to control the transmission, but we went way simpler than that. Locar makes this kit, which is essentially a rod with rod ends on it that connects the original steering column tab down to the transmission, and it has an adjustable length arm on it so that you can actually get all four gears on the column. Now we're gonna hit the streets in my wife's El Camino with its brand new Gearstar 4L60E. <laughs> This car rips now. Thanks to the Yank converter and Gearstar Trans, the Elko finally drives like it's really got 420 horsepower under the hood. It still does a one wheel peel, but man, it shifts good. It doesn't leak. The Trans has got a warranty. I fixed that open differential, and my wife might actually want to give me some Nookie in this car. Or she'll just keep holding out for that paint job she's been begging for for like the last eight years.